one of the St. Mother Theodore's many gifts to us is her writings, her letters, her journals, her instructions to the sisters. All of these words continue to inspire us in so many ways. Uh, we are so blessed that they were preserved and we have access to them uh, in the archives. And so when I think about Denise, um, Sister Denise Wilkinson's words have been a similar blessing to all of us. Uh, I took a little walk to the archives and uh, found quite a collection of her writings, homilies, the reflections that she's given over the years for vow ceremonies and jubilees and feast days and foundation day and associate commitment days. And, and then there's the letter circular that she's uh, published every advent for us. And of course, there have been blogs and blogs and, and more blogs. I've even saved the cards and notes of encouragement um, that Denise sent to me as, as a general officer. All of these have helped me reflect on my own commitment, my own belief in Providence, uh, from her early reminders of what do we have to do to become saints, to her more recent missives of um, asking us, challenging us to think about mercy. Uh, Denise's words have really been strength for our journey. And so I wish to thank you, Denise, for paying such good attention in Sister Virginia Marie Cashin's English class when you were in high school, and more importantly, for paying such good attention to the Spirit of God that moves within you, and that uh, using your wit and wisdom, uh, you have touched our hearts and inspired our lives. So please, keep writing. I think one of the things that's been really important for me is I know in her own personal spiritual life, I know that prayer is really important to her and also the, a sense of contemplative living, a contemplative uh, prayer. And how I think that that uh, comes forward in us is just her way that she is with others, the way that she is with uh, the team. And so it's been just a, a great gift to watch the gift that she is to us. Um, I, one of the things that I thought of um, related to like when we meet one-on-one -on -one, uh, each month and I come with a list and she comes with a list and so many times our lists were exactly the same so it was the sense that we both knew what were the areas that you know needed uh, attention or just needed to talk about and the, the affirmation that I feel from her um, she, her style of leadership is one that she just doesn't feel like she has to tell everyone what to do, but she kind of really talks through and processes um, the information and listens and gives advice when that's appropriate. But uh, so much of the time she really has allowed each of us to, to lead in our own areas particularly and, um, and listens and gives advice if that's what we, you know, if that's what's needed at the time. Thank you, Denise, for all your years of service in the congregation, and especially when we've been able to serve together. You have not only embraced the role of leadership, but you have also brought a very caring presence to it and to all of us. Well, Denise and I have been the older women on our team these last five years. And I think uh, we've had a lot of fun with that concept. <laughs> and in addition, we are not technologically savvy the way some of the other team members have been. So we've considered ourselves the bookends of the team. I think Denise's gifts to the congregation have been terrific. She, she's a wonderful administrator. She's a leader who knows when to step forward, when to step back and let other people step forward. She's been an inspiration to us um, and a spiritual leader. She doesn't admit that. She doesn't even recognize that as one of her gifts, but I'm absolutely convinced that is her gift and her legacy to us. One of the, the traditions that Denise and I have is uh, since the time that she was postulant director in Indianapolis and I was teaching and working in Indianapolis, and. Um, I don't know how it started, but uh, for, for her birthday every year, uh, I usually just take her out for dinner. And so we have continued um, to do that, and it's something, um, at least I know, I always look forward to every year. Um, 
it doesn't always happen <laughs> around her time of her birthday, but whenever our calendars would allow. So um, I teased her about my needing to come to France next spring to celebrate her birthday then. <laughs> so anyway, it's just it's been something that's been very meaningful to me. But on a more serious note, um, I think I appreciate so much the steady, easy temperament that Denise has brought to the team and to leadership these past five years. She's been a delight to work with. She's very insightful when it comes to people and sort of how they operate interiorly. But she's also a woman who welcomes everybody. And when you're with her and when they've individually been with her in this leadership period, I think they felt really welcome and at ease in their uh, presence with her. I'll miss you, Denise, because, um, well, you've, we've had a lot of humorous moments. You've been extremely affectionate. I've always wanted the real kiss, not the chocolate variety. And I can only hope that you'll be blessed as you bless so many that this sabbatical year will just renew you in body, mind, and spirit and refresh you for the next phase that Providence has in store. God bless you and hold you. Denise, I've always appreciated your sense of humor and the lightness that would help any situation. I hope that during your sabbatical time you will be able to reflect on and delight in fond memories that you've had during these years. I've certainly appreciated your wisdom in the writings that you've done and in the homilies that you've, that you've given us. I wish you so many blessings during this sabbatical year and I hope you take your own advice and do as much relaxing and renewing as you can during these years. I wish you many blessings and much love. I was <clears throat> thinking about uh, the gift that Denise brings is, um, as a spiritual leader. And um, I know that I always look forward to the time when she's going to be giving the reflections at liturgy, whether it's for the Jubilees or the Bows or Mother Theodore's Feast or special occasions. So. Um, I don't, and also the articles that she writes, the blogs she writes, the, the, the opportunities that she has to um, share around the letter circular and so on. So I don't know if she really realizes the impact that um, her words has as, have as a spiritual leader. Uh, but I know for myself, I always appreciate uh, kind of wondering what that tidbit is going to be that, she, that she's going to allow us to take with us after she's done her reflections. For me, the, the trait that I admire the most and will remember the most is her is relational. It's her ability to interact with people. When Denise meets someone, doesn't matter who the person is, what their status in life is, that person is the most important person in the room. And she's, because of that, she's the person that store clerks tell their stories to, that kids talk to in the airport. And, she just recently told me about a little boy who came up, she was in the doctor's office waiting room and this little kid came up and said, would you read this story to me? <laughs> and she just exudes that sort of uh, presence that allow people to feel comfortable in her presence, to feel important in her presence. Uh, for me, that's her greatest gift uh, and her way of being leader to us over these years. Uh, I think we really benefited from her, her 15 years of elected leadership. We've been blessed by her presence and will continue to be blessed by her gifts and her presence among us. So, Denise, go someplace and relax.